case from Gavin Kell, although I don't think he signed it personally, uh, but from the EA. And also, the cars that you, uh, those of you here last week have signed up, there are cars from, if you haven't got it already, they're on the table by the door. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else who works here. Yes, somebody. If you were here for the first time or any second time, there are some other cars. So, from there, they are. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Colin, for sharing with us the church news. And uh, now we will have the lighting of the Advent candle, four candles. Um, with the video. So, please come. So we are lighting four candles, four Advent candles. another kind of problem. That's alright. Yeah. So symbolically we remember um, the advent and uh, we will now Nikki will read and reading at the In this final week of Advent, our attention is on love. The following scripture verses may sound very familiar, so we will hear them twice. The first time is in the New Revised Standard Version. The second time you'll be reading from the message. Listen for the call to love in these words. Matthew 22, 36 to 40 says, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Teacher, which command in God's law is the most important, Jesus said. Love the Lord your God with all your passion and prayer and intelligence. This is the most important, the first on any list, but there is a second to set alongside it. Love other, others as well as you love yourself. These two commands are pegs. Everything in God's law and the prophets hangs from them. God, we have learned to love from being loved by you, and today let us enact that love. Let us live that love. We know that what the world needs now is more love. We need to remember how much you love each one of us, and we must share that love with others. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for reading the nativity. Uh, I've got four candles reading. And uh, so that reminds us that uh, God so loved the world, and he has commanded us to love one another sincerely. And that's what we aim in this church, in this family, that we will love everyone sincerely with all care and with prayer. 
and we are excited to have the children with us. They are all dressed up nicely. And thank you, Lane, for the team, for Sunday School or Junior Church, a Christmas Nativity Play by Junior Church with little, with song Little Donkey in the middle and the song at the end of a little mansion. So welcome to you all. Give them a big clap. Jesus was born. Just imagine you have to travel a very long way to register your name on a list. You live in days where there are no cars, trains or buses. This is what happened to Mary and her husband Joseph, who were in Nazareth. Mary was going to have a baby named Jesus, who was God's son. Mary and Joseph had to travel all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem, walking, and sometimes Mary would sit on the donkey. This would take about four days. It would be like having to walk to London. It was all really, really Yeah. 
have no rooms, but if you go out the back, there's a stable you can use. Angels appeared to them in a bright light. They spoke of the baby who would save everyone. Has everybody seen has anybody seen the baby Jesus? said the shepherds as they went down the hillside. If you go round the back in the stable, you may see him. I'm going to bed now, I'm tired. <laughs> Snug in a manger, the tiny babe lay, wrapped up in cloths, sleeping in the new hay. The shepherds gazed down at their saviour with joy. They fell on their knees and worshipped the boy. We're now going to sing Away in a Manger.
Thank you, Ellen. Give them a big clap. <laughs> Right. Thank you very much, and we will send them with our blessing to have their own time in the junior church. So children, we go to the junior church. A blessing, and now the worship songs will be led by Dave. Thank you, Dave, for leading us into worship. Colossians, it reads, your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies, your righteousness like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. That's from the Psalm 36. And then from Colossians, above all, be loving. This ties everything together perfectly. Above all, be loving. Today we focus on love. We're going to sing our song together. And uh, we're going to start with the song, Speak, O Lord. Speak, O oh Lord, as we come to you to receive the food of your holy word. Deep in us, shake and fashion us in your likeness, and the light of Christ might be seen today in our acts of love and our deeds of faith. Speak, O oh Lord, and fulfill.
Christmas joy be yours, and may the love of Christ be known to you. Today is such a wonderful day to be here in God's presence and to meet with him. And we are so reminded of that first Christmas and the joy and love that was shared. But as we do so, we're also reminded of our world that we need to touch and we need to have hope for and that we need to bless. And we need to think about all those things that are on our hearts for those who are going to find Christmas all sorts of ways challenging. And yet, that hope was there for this Christmas as it was for last. And as it is for every Christmas, that that first Christmas hope is there for us. And we're going to sing a couple of Christmas songs uh, as a way of of preparing our hearts and minds, but also as a way of perhaps getting some flavour of, of this evening, which I very much hope that you will be a part of too. I'm going to sing Angels Rise. <laughs>
still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect life. For the King of Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, seating never over us all to reign.
wonder of your gift. Lord, it's so amazing that you...